Hey there, and welcome to your spirit reading for Friday. I'm going to be pulling a page from the Encyclopedia of Spirits to get us started and to see what spirit or energy might be with us as we move throughout the day tomorrow, guiding or inspiring us, perhaps. This can just be for fun, but either way, I hope you enjoy the reading. Let's get started. Komokoa, uh, the wealthy one, also known as Komokoa. Origin is Kwa Kuto. Um, Como Kwa is king of the sea, lord of all undersea creatures, master and special protector of the seals. Como Kwa distributes and guards wealth. Como Kwa rules an underwater realm inhabited by fish and sea creatures, but also by magical sea bears and sea eagles. He lives in an underwater palace formed entirely of copper and filled with blankets, copper carvings, Basically, every, everything that the Kwa Kuto people traditionally perceived as, lux as luxuries. Kumu Kwa is a hospitable, generous host. If you can reach his palace, whether by literal or shamanic means, he will make sure that you leave carrying boxes filled with magical treasures. Manifestations. He may appear as a man, a giant octopus, or something in between. Iconography. The Kwa an indigenous people of Vancouver Island and the adjacent mainland are acclaimed for their carved painted wooden masks. Traditionally carved for shamanic use, they are now also crafted for art collectors. Komukwa is a popular subject of masks. Consort Talio, copper maker woman. Spirit ally, Komukwa's servant is an octopus, also a spirit of wealth and prosperity. If Komokwa wants to see you, he may send an octopus to pull you into the water and deliver you to his realm, and hopefully escort you safely back home too. Sacred animals, seals, killer whales, or orca, sculpin fish, and octopus. And that's it. Komokwa, the wealthy one. So maybe you will be getting some bonus or some wealth tomorrow would be nice all right well i hope you have a great friday bye